That is amazing. The two met ten years ago when Mr Frydenberg dropped Christmas hampers to the housing estate where that man, oh. that very talented Mr Elwood, was living. Isn't that incredible? Holy fella. That's a great yeah. sound. I, I was going to try and do it, but... Can you, you do it? You can't do it. You can't. You can't top that. Go and do it. Go, 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 go. Nothing compared to that guy. Go, 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 Yes. <laughs> Finally, it took a kookaburra to get rid of her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come on back now, Lang. Avery. Very Ooh, noisy, Avery. I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh, good to see you back up. Well, when people say to me, what is it like working with Carl Stefanovic? And I say to them, look, I don't know, because I work with Carlos. You know? You're in... See, I only work... ever work with Carl Stefanovic. Really? Yeah. So Same. which one are you now? Depends. Like on, on an hourly basis, I can, I can change my own characters. Mm. You are not that complex. I'm more like Sybil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Lassie? What do you mean? I feel like this is Oh, really whoa, so man, weird. that's too this much. Is, no, this is getting weird now. This is too much for my COVID weird. brain to deal with, actually. Just, go, just embrace the brain fog. Hey, bro, yeah. what do you mean it's getting weird? <laughs> <laughs> the many personalities of Carl Stefanovic. Oh, what a joy to be here. I take it back, Thanks, you guys. are complex. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ali. That's, okay. That's the nicest thing you've, you've said about me all year. <laughs> I'm saying two years. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was only in this year's character. Oh, oh yeah, it's too much. You see, this is like mine. Yeah. And, and Daniel, I want to ask, because my cooch is dying. <laughs> and it's... Yeah. And what, like, what... And I don't... What? What have you been doing to it if it's dying? Well, the, the <laughs> dog pees cooch. all over it. <laughs> OK. Well, that's, that's probably why. It's a reasonable excuse. Yeah, nitrogen burns. <laughs> No, Try to keep the dog off it and, uh, yeah, you'll probably see results. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with my co-host. Um, did I pick the wrong lawn, considering I have a dog? Uh, no, Cooch is good, um, considering if it's going to be running on it, Cooch has got really good wear and tear tolerance, mm. um, so it can recover quickly. Um, but no lawn can really withstand dog pee. Um, that's just part of it. Part of having a dog. All right, so the dog's got to go. The choice. <laughs> to save the cooch. <laughs> we just need to train it. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you, guys. Uh, this is unreal. Check you out um, on YouTube because the videos are just terrific. That's possibly yes. the best segment ever. Uh, we'll, I still don't understand. We'll have more great stuff <laughs> after this break if, if we're still on air. <laughs> Well, coming up, the Hollywood stars love doing it, but can get What? Can get... <laughs> what? We can, oh, can... <laughs> just slipped off the wagon. <laughs> can get him back with an <laughs> They love doing it. Anyway. Can get him back with an ex ever worker. good to be working with professionals. <laughs> We're back in a sec. <laughs> what are you doing? Breaking news, a travel alert for Brisbane. Right now, thick fog is blanketing the city. What you need to know before hitting the road. It is thick, Ali. A fresh COVID scare for Melbourne. I think the biggest news today is the flog. <laughs> Which is different to fog. It's heavier and it's more dangerous. So It sure is different, Ali. If you're driving in Brisbane, watch out for that this morning. <laughs> It sure is different. You know, you could have not laughed and I would have got away with it, but... Um, oh, that, you can't blame me for that one. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Don't blame right. me for everything. Okay, it's my fault. <laughs> Whoa! We've just had an accident. Oh, like a ball. Yes. <laughs> Carl's covered in... I went for a high five. I went for a high five. I didn't see her cup of tea. Oh, Bernie! <laughs> Ginger and lemon <laughs> tea. <laughs> You're laughing. It's so hot. Isn't it? Yeah, it's hot. You do really it's so it's exciting. everywhere. It's nice and lemony. Cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it's soothing. It's soothing. Yeah, Why it's would soothing. you try and high five me with a cup of burning tea? Well, I didn't see that because it was down below my eye level. So I went I'm high so five. And it's just, we may have the recording of that. Oh my god. Which we should Here we go. I saw it unfolding. Um, look, it's everywhere. It's magnificent. Oh, you've got lemon seeds on you as well. Looks, I've got to say, too, a little foggy where you are too, Jono. 
Uh, plenty of flog here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you expect. <laughs> I don't know what you expect me to do with that. <laughs> I just, of all my years on the Today Show, I've. N- what? It's one of the great moments. <laughs> it's one of the great moments. Lifting soon. <laughs> Rockets everywhere this morning. <laughs> well, outdoing his fellow billionaires in the race to space. <laughs> Amazon boss Jeff Bezos will blast into orbit next month. <laughs> Do you know what they call that? A rocket. They call it Blue Origin. It's very upright, Does that look a little odd to you? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Joining us now for more... <laughs> ...is Grow US up. correspondent <laughs> Alison Pet- petrowski Alley. The Bezos flight will officially kick off the company's space tourism business. Yes, that's right, Carl. Good morning to you, Carl. Good morning to you, Ali. Launch of the uh, interesting shaped rocket, thanks for pointing that out, Carl, will happen on July 20 out of remote West West Texas next month. Yeah. Okay. A classic Fonzie joke. Alexa, tell us a dirty joke. No! 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 <laughs> oh, that's dirty. You can ask for cricket scores, you can ask for sports scores, you can ask for just simple things like facts. I Who's really want to know what that joke is. Yes, that. We'll do that whole <laughs> Australia wants to know. And of course, Joel's bid banger with um, <laughs> David Quetta. <laughs> what would you do is out now as well. I'm just saying, entertainer is my thing. Did you just say Joel's bid banger? <laughs> I did it say. sounds different when Brooke reads it. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's, Joel's big, he's got a big bang on David Guetta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Joel's big banger. Don't you, Joel? Great song, you should listen to it. <sighs> he's going to be rapping with that. <laughs> Let me tell you. Alexa, tell Australia a dirty joke. What has eight wheels and flies? I don't know. A garbage truck. <laughs> That's a dirty joke, get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best ever. Oh, Alexa. I love it. That's better than that. <laughs> nah, okay. It was pretty good. Good on you guys. Um, thanks for being with us. Really appreciate it. Um, gee, what a gorgeous day there too, eh? Does the... <laughs> <laughs> he is proper mad with you, Tim. <laughs> you. <laughs> Note the moment that the team fell apart, 8.53.57, yes. when Tim... Oh. Look what you've done. That really scared me. You loved it. I know. It was great. <laughs> it it scared me and you weren't coming up behind me. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> People being scared. Adam. Oh, my God. He's probably angry. He's really upset. I've actually never seen that look in his eyes before. (laughs) You can't do that when he's talking about snakes. He has a real real issue in him. Code brown order has been... (laughs) I manage to keep a straight face every time I say it. But it's mainly because I dealt with this over the weekend. Can we just put everyone at home? In the loop, because it is unfair during, during, during a serious, uh, you know, um, intro to something. On the weekend, Ali was sitting on the couch with Mac, who had a code brown. Um, I know, I know. White yeah. couch. White, a white, white couch. couch. I mean, who has a white couch with little kids? Anyway, yeah. They do but, probably as, he, need, as he just said. They probably do need to change the name. <laughs> I think Don't so. Why is it called a code brown anyway? Yeah. Like, yeah. everyone I've kept a straight face Ali. with that for months. You are know, not right? alone. It's, it's, too, it's too raw. <laughs> right. Whoa. So, okay, serious it's been now. lifted across serious Victoria face. today and Melbourne reporter Christine <laughs> joins us from the Alfred Hospital. From the scene of the crime. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Sorry about that. Well, good day, uh, Australia. And uh, let's start with the weather forecast. Contrary to everything that every Australian's ever told me about the weather in Sydney, 
it's raining. And in fact, it's been raining every minute since I got to Australia. And it's going to rain for every minute for the rest of the week that I'm spending in Australia. It's going to rain. But the good news for Ali is that she's finally got someone next to her who is intelligent, handsome, younger, better accent, uh, and obviously has a proven track record of smashing ratings records on breakfast television. We need and you know that. what, Ali? I like it. This feels natural to me. Does this you feel know, like home? Carl, well, it just feels like, you know, Carl who? That showbiz. <laughs> you know, he made the fatal strategic error of letting me sit in his chair. Mm -hmm. And look, it just immediately feels natural. You look happier. I'm, I've, right? I've, like I didn't even know the last what few joy minutes. was for the last two Suddenly years. Suddenly you've been freed. You know, it's like Nelson and Winnie Mandela walking on the long walk <laughs> to freedom. <laughs> From the incarceration <laughs> of Carl. <laughs> no, 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 Paul you were staying all morning. He's trying to laugh, but he knows in his heart this has been a sucker punch from which there may be no recovery. No recovery. I've missed breakfast television. I don't know. I think it's it great healthy. to be back. And you know what, Ali? It feels right, this chemistry, immediately. Bouncing mm -hmm. off each other, feeling the, the energy. And you're just energy. like Carl, you don't let me get a word in. <laughs> I love you, Piers. Best health experts predict it will take about a year to uh, clear the backlog. Ali? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I had it together. You can't talk about Code Browns and backlogs. We've got a backlog on the Code Browns, people. I can. <laughs> All right. Thank you. There's nothing that's been useful. Is that what you're saying? Well, that makes it worse. Well, as... <laughs> Thank you, I think Chris. we've had enough. Oof. I think that's it for our show. <laughs> we get some we... entertainment. We've got some entertainment. Oh, Let's get some entertainment. Here we go. Because I think we all just need to take a deep breath, <laughs> clear that code brown out of our. <laughs> <laughs> John Legend has narrated. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please. I don't know. <laughs>